Hey, what's up, you guys? Putting a hitch on your Honda Odyssey can take you to some pretty cool places like camping or bike riding. You can also tow a U-Haul trailer to just about anywhere in North America. Let's go ahead and get this vehicle prepped for your hitch install. You will need the tool seen here to complete this installation. Okay, so on the driver's side here, we're gonna be taking down some underbody paneling. It's got uh, three push pin fasteners that hold it up and one 10 millimeter bolt up here. So, okay, we're gonna take a flathead screwdriver. We're just gonna put it on the center portion of the fastener and try to pry it out. There we go. Once it gets pulled out, the whole fastener should just come loose. Just like that. Set those aside. I'll take a 10 millimeter socket. We'll remove our last bolt here. Okay, we got this guy out. Now we'll set it aside. We should just be able to pull straight down on this underbody paneling. Oh, looks like we forgot one fastener here. There's going to be, looks like a screw. Okay, that last screw is going to be located kind of depressed into this little area right here. Can't see it. Um, it is a Phillips uh, head on it. So I'm gonna take a ratchet, the small Phillips and a quarter inch socket and I'll just kind of move it this way here so the screw is gonna stay in its position here and we can just pull the underbody paneling away from it and I'll show you how this paneling comes down okay now that we got that last screw out we should just be able to pull straight down on this there we go I'll set this guy aside now that we have the underbody paneling removed we've exposed the frame and the, and the holes that we'll be using in the frame to mount the hitch. I'll go ahead and point those out here. We have a weld nut here, here, and one up a little further here. So three on each side. It'll be identical on the passenger side. Okay, let's go ahead and get that hitch put into place. Okay, today I'll be using U-Haul's exclusive hitch jack. Um, if you don't have a hitch jack, you're going to need an extra pair of hands. This is a pretty big hitch. And on some installations, it is helpful if you lower the exhaust. Today I will not be. Okay, so on the passenger side above the exhaust, you can see that there is a bracket here that comes over and goes to the bottom of the frame, right, right about where the hitch is gonna be going. Um, and on these vehicles, we'll be using the provided spacers to go in between the hitch and the frame, just like this, and line it up with the hole. We'll do that on all three holes. I'll go ahead and do that now. Okay, now that I have the spacer lined up above the most rear hole, I'm gonna go ahead and take the provided bolt and conical washer. You can see that the teeth of the conical washer are facing up, they'll be contacting the hitch. And they'll just thread right into the weld nuts in the frame. to the most forward bolt. Okay, we've got that guy side up. Now we'll go ahead and snug up the uh, driver's side. Okay, again, you'll see that we do have this bracket that is in the way of the hitch and the frame, so we'll be using spacers. 
to go in between the frame and the hitch. We'll line up the holes. Put our bolt through. Goes right into the weld nut. We'll just snug it up. Okay, we have all six bolts in place. Now I'll go ahead and remove our hitch jack. Okay, now that we have the hitch in place and we have our bolts snugged up to the frame, we're gonna go ahead and use a three quarter inch socket, five inch extension, a torque wrench, and set the torque wrench at 68 foot pounds. Um, I do wanna mention that the installation sheet for this hitch called for an 18 millimeter wrench, but that, that didn't fit. So um, we're gonna go ahead and use this three quarter socket, one that did actually fit the bolts. Now every torque wrench that you use will give some type of indication when you've reached your torque, like a snap or a beep. This guy's gonna snap just like that. You can see that the exhaust is kind of just about below the bolts here. Um, this exhaust is pretty flexible. I can move it around to get my tools in there, so I did not need to lower it. Okay, all bolts are torqued down. Uh, the last step is to put the underbody paneling back up into place. Um, before I do that, I'll go over the features of the hitch real quick. We have a two inch receiver tube. We have safety chain loops. We have a nice round tube, stylish design. The hitch is rated at 4,500 pounds, max trailer weight. 675 pounds mass gross tongue weight. Uh, the last step is to put the underbody paneling back up into place. Okay, now we're just lining up our holes on this lower body paneling, putting our push pin fasteners in. Okay, and that's our hitch for the Honda Odyssey. Thanks for watching our video. Have fun and be safe. To learn more about the product seen in this video or to schedule an installation by a U-Haul hitch professional, visit us online today at uhaulhitches.com.